Hi, I'm driving to the grocery stores and as you can see, I'm not wearing my spectacles. Ever since I was 15 years old, I was diagnosed for short-sightedness and astigmatism. And I started wearing contact lens at the age of 40, because for aesthetic reasons of course. Then at the age of 52, I gave that up because it was too cumbersome. Then um, at 52, I went back to wearing glasses. But of late now, I find that not only can I drive without my uh, glasses, but I can also read and I can um, watch TV. The whole day I can be without my spectacles. I find my health, uh, eye health is very much better. I don't get headaches. I don't get stressed eyes. So and I was wondering how did this happen and I was reading about it and I found some of the lifestyle changes that I've made uh, the past three years may have contributed to it and that is what I want to discuss and share with you in this video. Our eyes are the most prized organs we have and we should be grateful for the gift of sight. Nowadays we are doing activities knowingly or unknowingly that is causing damage to our eyes. Young people are complaining of headaches, stiff necks, migraine and blurring vision. Besides genetic and environmental factors, the main culprit seems to be the overuse of computers and compulsively staring at phone screens without even blinking. These can make our eyes go dry and kill the cells. The dead cells can accumulate at the surface and cause inflammation and eventually may lead to eye damage. One of the first things I do when I get up is to properly wash my eyes. This is how it should be done. Fill your mouth full with water so that your eye muscles expand. Then splash your eyes a few times with water. Make sure it's not hot water, just cool water. You will feel an instant refreshing sensation. This is a normal daily eye wash. Occasionally, I take my eye wash to the next level. You will need a, an eye cup like this, which you can get from any Ayurvedic store or you can buy it online. Then get some purified rose water. Pour about 15 drops into the cup. Then top it up with clean, cool water to three quarter of the cup's level. Fit the cup to your eye like this. Make sure the water does not spill at the sides. Move your pupils and soak them in the liquid for about a minute. Then you can throw out this water and repeat it for the next eye. This procedure will remove any dead cells from your eyes. Another routine that I have adopted is sun gazing. Sun gazing is an ancient practice of harnessing the sun's energy for our well-being. I do this when I'm walking barefooted on my lawn early in the morning. Sun gazing is said not only to improve vision, but long-term practice can prevent conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, arthritis and osteoporosis. I stand barefoot on the ground and look directly at the sun during the safe hours when the UV index is below 2. Usually this is between 6.45 am to 7.15 am in my country. You can look normally and also blink. I do this for about 5 minutes opening and closing my eyes at intervals of 10 seconds. You see what happens is the photoreceptors in our eyes receive sunlight and transfers it to our brains. On the way it stimulates the hypothalamus and pineal glands. Then the brain transmits this to all the other organs. Vitamin A and D is produced. For the eyes, vitamin A is very much needed for healing. I do this with much reverence and faith. If the UV index is above 2, you must use a good sunshade. You can check out the UV index in your location with your weather app. 
the best thing you can do for your eyes is giving it a good night's sleep. I sleep in a room that is absolutely dark. No night light, no da ajar to light the light in from the corridor. Darkness is phenomenal for your eyes to do its repair work. The most rejuvenating time is deep sleep between 11 p.m. till 2 a.m. Please don't look at phone screens in the dark. It is really damaging for your eyes. If you love your eyes, please go and get your eyes checked with a real eye doctor first. The practices that I do have really helped me in regaining my vision. In my next video, I will share with you the diet changes I made and the exercise routines I do for my eye health. So please stay tuned and click like and don't forget to subscribe.